It's a pleasure to be before you this afternoon. This might be a difficult question to answer, especially after the great meal we've just had. But who enjoys Olive Garden garlic breadsticks? I think there's a, quite a few of us that do. It's been a while since being there, but I know I, I enjoyed them. But these garlic breadsticks, as you well know, are served as appetizers. And depending on the deal you can get, you can have unending breadsticks along with their super salad. <laughs> well, at any rate, when you have any appetizer at the time we're talking, the garlic bread, what purpose does that serve? Well, it gets you filled up on the bread to the point where you probably won't want to eat the entree at least a lot of it. So they're trying to fill you up with the cheap bread without you spending the money on the more expensive item which is that delicious entree. Well depending on how hollow of your leg that may or may not work. But either way that's their attempt. So it lessens your capacity for that entree. Well, in John chapter 6, beginning in verse 32, there Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread and Jesus said unto them I am the bread of life he that cometh to me shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst these are marvelous words that Jesus promises to all those who would be faithful to him but the idea is very similar to what we just, we just discussed with Olive Garden they fill you up with the garlic bread and you don't want to partake of the entree, the lasagna, the whatever you pick. Well, with regards to this passage, John chapter 6, verses 32 through 35, Jesus is that bread of life. And He has made it so that He is able to sustain us. He will take care of all of our needs as that bread of life. Thus, by doing so, our will to do evil lessens. We won't seek actively to commit works of evil because we'll be filled with the bread of life. Well, obviously, that, that type of bread the world doesn't really know of because they're too busy getting filled with the breadsticks. But as Christians, we do know better. This is where daily Bible study comes in. This is where gatherings such as what we're having now, where worship, where God's Word is presented, where we're able to feast on His Word, to grow and develop as Christians. Other meetings such as our Bible classes, gospel meetings and lectureships. We're sure we have the meal in the back, but we primarily are there to feast upon God's Word the bread of life and again by doing so it helps us to seek after doing righteousness and to stop seeking to do evil and so as is customary we wish to offer the invitation to those who have not become Christians that perhaps this type of nourishment is attractive to you we want it to be God has designed it to sustain us. We see this play out better in Matthew chapter 6. Where we're so busy about doing our Father's will, being righteous, doing righteous acts, that He will take care of His children. He has promised us that. And by trusting Him, 
by feasting on his word, not only will we have a home up in heaven, but it's a result of our faithfulness and our lack to do evil things. So if you would like to render obedience to the gospel this afternoon by becoming a Christian, or as a child of God who has wandered away and let sin back into your life, please come forward now as together we stand and sing this song selected. of God.